Hello there, it's Carrie Rose here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be using my Glimmer Hot Foil Machine and the Special Months Glimmer Hot Foil Set to customize my planner five different ways. Yes, it's already April. I might be a little bit behind in customizing my planner, but I love this Glimmer Hot Foil Set and it inspired me to dress mine up instead of just having a plain old planner. I kind of like cute things, right? So let's go ahead and get started putting hot foil into my planner. I'm gonna start my planner project making pages for my planner, the calendar pages. And I'm gonna be using this A5 page creator die from Fun Stamper's Journey. Now you can see here that it is a huge die. It's eight and a half by 11. So you're gonna need a large die cutting machine to make this die work, like the platinum machine. Now this is a full sheet of cardstock, eight and a half by 11, and I'm gonna run it through just so you can see that it, cuts a whole page all at once, a full sheet of cardstock, and makes the perfect size A5 page and three tabs. So I wanted to use this to die cut out a printable planner calendar that I purchased off of Etsy. So you can see the calendar pages here and how would I cut these down and get holes in them and have some precision. So I decided I would cut out a piece and use the negative from this page creator die. I'm going to tape that on at one end creating a hinge. So this now becomes my template and a guide for where to put those pages. So those um, printables I did cut off about an inch from the top and an inch from the bottom so I'd have room to scoot them around. Now I put this under the template and I left room on the right hand side for the holes. So I scooted it over a little bit so I could compensate for where the holes would go. And then I taped that in place and removed the template and ran it through the machine. And now I have a perfectly cut and punched page for my planner. Now I wanna do the other side. So I rotated the die around, I put my template back in place, taped it down, then I can open it on that hinge. And this time I want to scoot it over to the right, leaving room on the left for those holes. Once I have it where I want it, Again, I will lift up the hinge on my template, tape my page in place, and run this through the die cutting machine. And now you can see I have both sides of the month of May for my planner ready to go. So I did all of those and put them in my planner. And now we're gonna bring in that Glimmer Hot Foil set that started this whole project, the special months set. In this set, there are two hot foil plates that will foil a frame, one die that die cuts those frames out, and Glimmer Hot Foil plates for every month of the year. My first way I'm going to use this in my planner is to Glimmer Hot Foil the month onto my calendar page. Now the name of the month is on the left-hand side page, but I also wanted it on the right-hand side. So here I'm putting August right above where it says 2020. And let's talk about the process of Glimmer Hot Foiling. So I taped my plate to my cardstock so that the word August was face down onto my paper. Then I put the Glimmer Hot Foil so that the foil was face up against the word August. Then when I transferred that to the Hot Foil machine, I made sure that that plate I flipped it over so the plate was the, the first thing touching the Glimmer Hot Foil machine. Then you wanna put the timer on and put your plates on. When the timer goes off, you run it through your die cut machine. Okay, way number two is to make tabs for my divider pages. I am using a piece of cardstock that is two inches by three inches and scored it one inch. I'm using the die that comes with this set and placing the top edge against the fold of this piece of cardstock. When I run this through, I'm gonna have tabs for my divider pages that I know will fit every single month of the year. So we're gonna go ahead and foil these with the months of the year. And please note that I am Glimmer hot foiling these so that the word is close to the fold on that tab. That way when I adhere it to my page, I have uh, enough that I can adhere to the page, but the word is still sticking out past that divider page. So again, the word August is face down onto the cardstock. The Glimmer hot foil is facing the word August, so the pretty side toward the plate. And there we have August. And I can trim this off for the shorter months 
But here I'm going to show you a longer month, and the foil I'm using here is called Aura. This is my favorite hot foil. I love it. It has um, some iridescent quality to it. Uh, when you turn it in the light, you can kind of see rainbow, but it's gold, like really light gold. I don't know. It's special. That's what I know. All right, so here you can see November fits on here perfectly. And now I have all the tabs for all the months of the year, and I will show you how I adhere those in a bit. Now, way number three is to accent my divider pages. So I'm going to use those frames, the dotted frame, and the months of the year and create some labels for my divider pages. And I will hot foil those all at one time. Well, the word and the frame at one time. And then I will come back and use a coordinating die to die cut that out. While I'm waiting, I'm bringing in the classic alphabet glimmer hot foil set. This was a um, glimmer hot foil kit of the month. You can get a glimmer hot foil um, set and a roll of foil delivered to your house every month. So even though this was one of those kits, it is still available for purchase. So I got my alphabet ready on my banner while I was waiting for my little label and I had some over foiling there and I just erased it with a sanding eraser. So I erased that away and then I can go ahead and die cut this with the coordinating die. And now we'll hot foil the um, alphabet here. I just used the first three letters of the word for August as just a fun accent banner for the top of my divider page. So I try to tape those down and line them up. You know when you die cut, there's like a little impressed line from the edge of the die. I could see that just a little bit on that banner and that's the line I used to um, line up those letters for the word August across the top of this banner. A little more over foiling there so having a sand eraser for your glimmer hot foiling is I feel a must and uh, you might have seen there I used a shim when I did the letters for August on any of my plates that are more solid I like to throw a cardstock shim in between my plates and then I used a rotary stamp to stamp 2020 below the word August and then added my label right there. Now I'm also doing a yellow one and that will be because my divider pages are going to alternate colors of paper. So you'll see that in just a moment. Those are all ready to go right on my divider pages and I think they're a really fun little accent. So here's my first divider page. And this one is, both of the papers I'm using are from the RSVP Prints Paper Pack by Fun Stamper's Journey. This paper is really thick for patterned paper, so it makes the perfect divider pages. All right, so here's the yellow print, and you can see how awesome that looks with the Aura foil. And then I'm just tacking these down for fun with a mini stapler. Now it's time to put those tabs on the edge. So I took my pages and um, started at the top with April because that's the month I was starting with. And then I just used the previous page to mark where I wanted the next tab. And I'm covering up that pencil mark when I glue on each tab. And then I'll continue to do that to get those tabs adhered to the edges of my divider pages. And there we go. All right, way number four is to customize your planner. So I have a little pocket that I'm creating for like a cover page for my planner and I put my initials on it and I'm going to glimmer a hot foil right on this pattern paper and it turns out amazing. I really don't think I had tried glimmer hot foil on patterned paper before and now I love it. It did such a good job. So when you put the pocket on, which is just half of a page or a portion of the die cut page, I think mine is about three and a half inches. I only glue it on two sides, the outer edge and the bottom edge, and then it will open 
um, at the top more easily when it's in your planner. Now I have some planner stamp sets from Fun Stampers Journey, which are which is a product line that is carried by the Spellbinder shop. And I'm gonna use a stamp from that to create another tab. And I thought I was gonna do it on red, but it ended up that I needed a yellow one. So I'm stamping Get It Done on that yellow cardstock with pomegranate splash ink. So it coordinates with all the things in my planner. I trimmed it off so it was the appropriate size. And then I'm going to use December to mark where I want this tab to go. And this will go at the back of my planner and kind of be my to-do list page divider. Get it done, I thought it was cute. So we'll glue that in place. And then all my divider pages for this planner are now done. And I'm going to now do way number five using Glimmer Hot Foil in my planner, and that's to make a cute thing. There's so many ways you can add cute things to your planner. Mine has a little pocket in the front, so I wanted to make a cute little card to go in the front. So I am using this awesome hot foil set called Radiant Flowers, and I'm going to use both of those colors of foil to foil flowers onto this little card. It measures three inches by four inches and is going to fit into that pocket perfectly. And you can see here I'm just adding it on just as I've done with those months of the year and putting it face down onto my plate. And look at how pretty that is. Now I'm going to stamp a sentiment that says always take the scenic route. Right? We all kind of need a reminder to slow down and take in all the things. So I'm gluing that in place and then I'll let that set for just a second and I'll trim off the edges and I thought it was fun having it go diagonally across. And then a little more accent for this I am throwing on splashing on some bubblegum silk and this has shimmer in it so shimmer and glimmer and shine is the theme. I thought it went really well. Added some more staples just for fun and when that's dry I can just slide it right in to the pocket in the front of my planner. And there are your five ways to add Glimmer Hot Foil to your planner. And now let's take a look at each of the things I created. So there's the pocket um, and then this is before I put the card in the pocket, I was letting it dry. And then you can see how I have April on both sides of the page and Oh, here I realized my pages were out of order, so we'll just fix that real quick. And I have um, right here some white space, so that's the front side of my calendar page. I'm not sure what I want to do with that. I feel like there's lots of things you could do um, from like maybe writing your goals for the month, maybe putting a tracker on there for drinking water or exercise, maybe decorating it with some pictures from that month. So many cool things. But if you have an idea of what I could do with the white side of my calendar, please leave a comment and let me know. And then I die cut some grid paper for my last section of my planner. So I know that I'm gonna use it even more now that I've made something that I love. I hope that you've got some ideas for your planner and ways to use the Glimmer Hot Foil. If you have any questions about Glimmer Hot Foiling, let me know, it's one of my favorite things to do. And I will be back again soon with another video. So if you're new here, feel free to subscribe and ring the bell and YouTube will let you know next time I have a video. All right, happy stamping. I will see you all again very soon, bye.